Association. Does a very, very good job in Brussels, by the way, of representing the sector. And it's based on the, the thing that, you know, I'm an airline guy and I know, and those of us who've been in this business a long time, we know that direct sales is not cheaper than indirect. Everybody knows that has been in this industry long enough. But somehow the rhetoric has been and the claim has been that sales through travel agencies or to, through GDSs is many times more expensive. Now the trouble is they're conveniently omitting counting some costs that incur when you're selling direct. Mm -hmm. They're conveniently omitting the fact that they have call centers and service functions and technology costs and payment costs. Was it 50 million euros that Lufthansa had spent on their technology? Has that been <laughs> accounted for in the cost comparison? I don't think so. So if you take all factors into consideration, going direct does not reduce the cost for an airline. In some cases, it actually increases the cost of sales for an airline. And I won't bore you with the detailed numbers. Frank has the report. You can ask for it. For a network airline with a large home market, and, and these distinctions are important, i.e., this is not KLM, but it might be Air France. Yeah? If you move, if you, if you shift traffic direct, which you might or might not be able to, because you'll have to put some pretty hefty carrots for that to happen, costs remain the same per passenger. There is a completely net, well, it, the, the saving that you get is less than 1% of the distribution cost. <coughs> distribution cost. Now, for an airline with a relatively small home base, this could be Finnair, this could be a Dutch Airlines, that thrives on Six Freedom connecting network traffic. The cost increases by going and pushing direct. Why? Because, first and foremost, of the increasing customer acquisition costs in markets where they don't have market power. So you can ask Ton afterwards about his ability to collect the surcharge in China or about his ability to drive traffic to the direct channel in China for KLM, it's impossible because the costs will be prohibitive. 